Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Game Cave Podcast with myself, Keir Smith, and the man seated across from me, long-time friend and co-host of the show, Terry Jeffs. Terry, how you doing? I'm very good. I'm very excited to get the show going. Yes, it's been a long time coming, but uh, we're finally here, the first episode. Um, Tell, first of all, do you want to go through with the listeners what the Game Cave is? Yes, um, the reason that it's called the Game Cave Podcast is because we are filming and recording in what we call the Game Cave. A custom-built game in Nirvana, um, to say the least. To say the least. Um, as you can see, well, for the video watchers, you can see behind us we've got uh, just some of the library of games that we've got uh, to play during the podcast. Hell yeah! Um, but we have many systems in the room that we are going to be using throughout during the podcast, through playing on let's play videos on YouTube and stuff. Um, we should probably go through some of them. Yes, there is quite a few in here that we need to. Uh, I had to jot down. In here. I had to jot down some of them of what we got. So this is just but a few of our systems that we're going to be able to play on. So we've got Atari Two Six Hundred, Commodore Sixty Four, Game and Watch Fire, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Sixty Four, Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii, Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Game Boy Micro. Nintendo 3DS, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, Mega Drive 32X, Sega CD, Sega Game Gear, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, <laughs> Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PSP, PSP Go, PS Vita, and we've got our PC gaming rig. Let's go through. A lot to go to through. Discuss. A lot to discuss. And as uh, we've been talking about it a lot, and which. Dead excited to get started and uh, kind of not only play some of these games for the first time, because there's a lot of games here that I haven't played, but also recapture our youth with some of the games. There's quite a few games just on this shelf alone, which I played a hell of a lot of yeah. as a kid. So, I mean, uh, a lot of this, a lot of the systems that we've got in here are not systems that we kind of bought on launch or anything like that. It's just things that we've kind of collected up over the years from past systems and, um, you know, just... just Things were picked up at collections or games. Uh, many, many, many of these games, probably the majority of them, I've never played. Um, and I know you've never played. Um, no, but I, um, obviously there's a lot, a lot I the, want to. Yeah, a lot of the classics. Are, but, you know, the aim of this podcast is we basically, we're just going to generally chat about our gaming lives. Yep. Um, we're going to talk about what we've been playing between each episode, like in our gaming lives, between... Could be old retro systems, could be the, on the new systems, on the PC, whatever. Right down to iPhone. Down to anything. iPhone, anything. Anything, if you can play a game on it, we'll you can play, play it. it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, uh, we're going to bring up topics to the table. Like Each episode, we're going to both bring a, bring a topic to, you know, to discuss, and yep. that could be anything down to you know the silliest stuff, like your fav- favourite game on a character or your favourite game character, to more serious stuff like... Um, I don't know, like certain things in games journalism. We'll, we'll just talk anything, you know, like yeah. anything that's going on in the industry. We'll talk, obviously, the current gaming news. Um, we'll discuss the 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 latest chart, you know, the gaming chart, the top twenty, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, among other stuff, upcoming just general releases, upcoming releases, anything. anything that we can think of, and it's going to revolve over time. Um, Is you it know, evolve it's, or evolve, 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 right? Okay, evolve, not devolve. <laughs> hopefully, it probably will devolve, but. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just go with the flow, see where it takes us, and the show will kind of change over time, you know, for yep. for the better or the worse, hopefully for the better. Um, okay. And we'll just, you know, see where it goes. Brilliant. Yeah, so we're going to start, obviously, 
doing a podcast, but eventually down the line, we've 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 talked about plans. We want to you know expand upon this. Yeah, we have many plans. Um, first of all, being that this is an audio and a video podcast. So, hello, uh, yeah, all you people watching. Yep. Let, let, let's 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 back step a bit. You know, let's let's you know let's go all back. Right. Let's go back and unbox this. <laughs> We've had this planning for a few years now. Yeah. And I mean, to go to go right back to the start, me and Terry used to work together when I was 18, yep. Terry was 19. Yep. Jesus and, uh, Christ. That is a long time when you think about it. Jesus Christ. Say, yeah. Let's just let that sink in for a second. Yeah, that's just the... Uh, I don't All think right, I've had on. that... I don't think I've had that happen to me before. What, someone's just sprung it on you like that? Oh, I've known yeah. each other 10 years. Like, it just hit me how old I am. Yep. Yeah. Okay, moment of yeah. reflection over. Moving on. Yeah. Um, but yeah... <sighs> As our like, as we our friendship grew, we've really sort of it's something we've always talked about wanting to do a podcast, and we we just want, originally we just wanted to do a generic just a podcast kind of put something out there, but we sort of realised that with a an asset like this, <laughs> that you've really got to talk about games. Well, obviously back back then we didn't have obviously anything like this. We were just um, like you say working when we first met, working at First Data. I remember we was um, I think that was one of our first talking points that we kind of. Started get, we started talking yeah, about that's how we started talking yeah talking football about football and games yeah football and games um, and South Park and just shit like that the same kind of humour and stuff but um, I think it was like the gaming wise it was like the we obviously both had like PS1, PS2 and we were talking about at that time I think the PS2 was the most current system nah 360 then we had no 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 this was this was before 360 I remember when we when we because I, I, I remember us having gaming nights when we were playing like Time of Splitters 2 on, on the PS2 like oh, multiplayer yeah. because yeah. don't you remember because obviously we was already friends when we went and bought the 360 I think yes. it was probably just before like yeah. just as the 360 was coming out you know but um, yeah and obviously we started like playing the 360 a lot together and just just through like I think like one night a week or more like we'd be getting together and having gaming nights and things like that and yep. just generally just talking random shit just random shit and then like we'd be would be thinking oh, we should we should be recording this like just just yeah. just just talking normal stuff um and it just became a kind of a, an idea just a joke and then it kind of went on to a bit more like a bit of a pipe dream didn't it yeah. maybe we should do a podcast in the future like you know i don't know snowballed. if anyone would listen to it but we could just record it if anyone listened to it that'd be awesome but we could just have a bit of laugh talking about games because what we're talking about games and things like that and yeah, but it kind of went on, didn't it? Like each year, nothing yep. happened, nothing happened until for us, I say the last two or three years, we was really like planning it, yeah, talking it up. A year ago, recorded a pilot on com- like we just had one USB mic. Yeah, no, we had two USB. No, mics. We, had, we had two of the snowball mics. Two snowball they, USB. It was a lot of problems. With yeah, it. recording on separate computers trying to mix it was a complete headache obviously we're still completely new to this we don't know what we're doing uh, <laughs> but best. since then we've obviously you know moved on to better equipment and stuff like that but we recorded a pilot um if you heard it we're, we're sorry we really are <laughs> hopefully it's going to be better no, this isn't really a pilot first yeah, episode it's but... more of a test more of a test yeah there you go but I was just thinking like in the last couple of years since we've been talking literally really talking about doing this um what's happened in the last couple of years um what's changed i mean i've moved twice i think you've possibly moved twice yeah i've got married i've now got a little boy um it's just all kind of like i know i guess everything is completely different you know and um so things kept getting like you know i say we re- yeah we, we yeah we recorded the part about a year ago and nothing really happened since then because i just things were just just kept happening um, but now, here we are. Here we are, for a lot of planning. This is it, and we aim to do a recording. We aim to have an episode out minimum one every two weeks. Yep. that's what we're going on. We, that's what we've minimum every two for. weeks. Yeah, we'll have a new 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 episode. Um, but it will, like I say, it will evolve eventually. Hopefully, soon down the line, we'll have not only the podcast, which we'll do every two weeks, yep. which will do the format like we just discussed what else are we going to be doing uh, we're going to have lots of uh, let's play videos going to uh, be playing some of these bad boys as we said yeah um, for our YouTube channel which is also this will this these podcasts will be uploaded to um, you'll be able to get these obviously yes. on audio through audio, like, iTunes and things like that but um, 
the video uh, the the video watchers can watch this through our YouTube channel, which will have each episode kind of broken up in parts throughout the week. But we're gonna see how we go with that and just yeah. Like Tell said earlier, it's a bit of a learning curve. We're, uh... we're just learning as we go. We know we we really haven't. You know, we, we we're gonna have to edit this afterwards, and we've never edited anything before, so it's gonna be. It's just everything we're doing at the moment. We're just kind of learning as we go. Um, but what else are we gonna do? We're gonna do let's play videos, like you said. Yep. Um, I'm more of a more of a casual gamer than uh, than Tell. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of games that I haven't played. So we're gonna be doing a lot of. Uh, yep. A lot of me playing games that I haven't played before. Yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna do, is we had ideas for like playing classics and, um, you know, either classics that you haven't played or I haven't played or we've both played. Whatever. We're just gonna revisit stuff. We're gonna play new stuff, quirky games. You know, we're talking about playing quirky licensed movie games and just anything. You know, that, that we thought we, with this collection that we've got in here, we might as well use that uh, to our advantage and and you know play all the systems that we've got and. We're gonna do uh, live stream Twitch sessions. Um, yes. Either like say playing the, the retro systems or playing our current systems, or um, again that will evolve into more specific Twitch streaming. Like at the moment, we'll probably just do it for our PS4. Yep. But then yeah. eventually, we'll, you know, we we can expand on that, doing it through through the PC and and customize the Twitch channel. Um, what else? We um, like you said, YouTube, Twitch. Um. Other thing, you know, we're we're going to Resd next month, so yes. eventually we want to go. To that. We go to Resd and Eurogamer every year, and any game show that you know we can get to, really. And we were going to expand onto that basically and do uh, interviews and do videos at the expos. Um, what else have we got? We we we've got a website which is website. currently in the mo- in, development. You know, in development, which we will start blogging from. You know, weekly doing written blogs on anything gaming wise. Um, also, going to try and get some guest writers for the website. Guest writers, yeah, anyone that wants down, to opinion pieces, things yep. like that. Um, yeah, we'll go through all the uh, domestics at the end. Yeah, yeah, new, new yeah. Not getting too specific, but we're we're we're, we're going to expand. We're yep. basically this is like where it's beginning. This is going to be our main focus. Obviously, the podcast is going to yep. be like our staple, which we want to roll out minimum, like say every two weeks. But yeah, so. Um, good times. Good well, that's time. basically what we've got planned. Yeah, that's so, what we've got planned. Just go with it. Yeah. So yeah. So good times for us. Yeah. So this this show we we just kind of want to use to introduce us and obviously what the podcast is going to be about, and we're going to talk our gaming history. Um, from the next next show we record, it's going to take a more structured um, approach. Yeah, structured like a, a different format. We're going to talk about what we've been playing. That kind of stuff, like the news, the chart. We're not going to do any of that today. No. Today we're just going to talk about us and our gaming history and why we love games and why we're doing this today. Absolutely. Can't wait. So I guess I'm going to start. We're going to kind of go through to our earliest memories um, and kind of go through chrono- chronological order up to current date. I guess and I'm going to start because... Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a few years older than you and I feel like I've got... Um, a bit more game. I think I probably started a bit earlier. Possibly, don't know. Yeah, I, I'm guessing you've probably, you've probably well, no, got like, a, few <laughs> more, a bit more gaming experience than I. As I say, I'm just these games behind me, they are not my my actual childhood collection. These are stuff that I've amassed over the last well, I'd say over the last maybe five, ten years, maybe. But um, a lot of it is my game collection because all my games that I ever bought, I never trade them in or sell them. You know, they're still they're here, among others. Um, yeah, so. Where did you get started? What's your first first console? Right now, see, last few days I've actually been trying to think of everything without looking at the games in here. Just trying to think platforms and and game wise, what was the stuff that was most important to me? So I had to jot, I had to jot stuff down because there's just so much. But um, I'll go through it now. So my earliest memories of gaming, and I'm trying to, th- I'm really trying to think back to the my earliest earliest memories. Like, and it's kind of a bit of a blur. But the thing that I always go back to is the NES. I never owned a NES, but I had a friend that owned a NES. And my earliest, my you know, my favourite memories of gaming are playing is playing Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Right. You know, and I think for a lot of people my age, that kind of was the the starting point. That was like the the induction the, into your gaming yeah, life. It's just what started the passion. You know, the brilliant level design, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, like I said, I never owned a NES though, but I just had many, many memories 
I've been around my friend's house. You know, I remember a friend that used to live around the corner from me. We used to basically live in each other's house. He's like, you know, playing games, watching TV, that kind of stuff. And I just always remember playing the NES. I used to play um, uh, Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I always remember there being a McDonald's game on there. We actually build burgers and stuff. It had Ronald McDonald on the front. Terrible product remember, placement. If anyone would remember this, it'd be me, but I don't. So <laughs> I'd have to look that up. <laughs> Maybe I'm going back a bit too far. I'd love a McDonald's game now, just to try it, just to see how bad it is. It probably is on the iPhone. Like, like a simulator. Yeah. Like simulator a McDonald's, app, McDonald's Just fucking pop-ups coming up everywhere, like, for, you know, quarter pan of cheese, fried meal. Right, okay. Yeah, um, Bubble Bubble. I always remember playing that. There's there's only a few games that I remember on the NES. I probably played loads of games, but the ones that stick in my head is mainly Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. But I remember that was the thing that first got the hook in me, you know, like, like the NES. That was the thing, like, being at gaming with that controller. It was like the first controller to use that kind of, the D-pad and the buttons. It's just, that's what started it. Um, and what still exists today as well. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Still, it's just, you know. Had to be good. Still yeah, going today. Brilliant. Brilliant design. Um, I remember there was some the kids on my street had a Sega Master System. I remember playing that. Never owned a Sega Master System at that point. I can't remember what games I played on it, but I just remember playing one. But um, before I go into the first console that I owned, I I think I remember playing Super Nintendo before I owned a console. I used to go around my brother-in-law's and play Street Fighter 2. And, oh, Jesus Christ, I remember playing Street Fighter 2 for the first time. And I just couldn't believe how good the graphics were like of playing that game. It was just incredible. Like, And I, I remember every chance I could get to go around his house and play that game, that along with uh, Super Mario Kart, playing that four-player split screen, like the original Super Mario Kart on the, on the Super Nintendo, which is still my favourite. It's just brilliant. Yeah. Um, and finally, Mortal Kombat. The first Mortal Kombat game, when I see that running on the Super Nintendo, um, wow. Because like, it was the first game to use that kind of motion capture. Like, So it wasn't actually right. that pixelated graphics. It was like... They were kind of moving, and I was just like blown away by that. What? Whoa! Like games can like, at the time it, it looks ridiculous now because if you look at what, the first Mortal Kombat, it looks it looks really bad. But at the time, I remember thinking it can't get no better than this. It looks like real life. There's real people there standing there fighting. Crazy. I think you could say that for most. Yeah, yeah, most exactly. games now. Yeah, yeah. You look back on them. Yeah, so but I think it, it's because it because it used the kind of rotoscope technology where it actually filmed the act. I think it was like pretty much the, one of the first games to do that. It actually filmed revolutionary the actors like, standing there in costume, and then kind of put that into the game. That was crazy. But, um, going for my first console, I don't have actually have, because it was obviously so early in my life, I don't actually have a pinpoint memory of when I got the console, or why I got, you know, whether it's for a birthday, Christmas, or whatever. But it was the console that really started the real passion of gaming in my life, and that was the Sega Mega Drive. Hell yeah. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. First console I had so again, that, yeah. like you. Don't remember exactly when or why I got it, but god damn, I'm glad I did get yeah. it. Yeah. It, it was just, it was an incredible system. And like I said, I don't remember when I got it, but I know it came with Sonic, as yeah. pretty much they all did, um, come bundled with uh, the first Sonic. And uh, that that game is just, that that that, that game, and I'm not going to be overly dra- dramatic here, that game changed my life. Like literally that that. I wouldn't be doing this today if it wasn't yeah. for the Mega Drive and Sonic. Like, I think just, I can agree with that. Yeah, it, it just it, and I know it done that for a lot of people. Like, um, it just it was just so cool for its time. Like, it was just really cool. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, looking back on it now, to to think how exciting it was. You know, it was very it was breakneck, yeah. breakneck speed, Sonic. game, colors everywhere. It was just. It was enough to get anyone hooked on yeah, it wanting was, to play video games. Looking back at it, it's so so nineties. It's like I think Sonic like just embodies like the nineties culture, you know, like and it's the attitude and stuff like that. But it was so cool. It had really good music. The music is still amazing to this day. And it was just it it, it just created a a passion in me that went on to go on buy more and more games and it started getting me interested in games. That's when I started the first I first started buying my first like games magazines. Um, like um, Mean Machine Sega and stuff like that and genuinely reading about games and reading reviews and like, I used to get like the the Mega Drive like essential like books which told you like all the best games and the ratings that they got and it took, gave you a brief description on them and stuff like that you, you used to get like fascinated like reading up what, what the best games were and stuff like that that's where it all started for me and it's because of Sonic yeah um, but <clears throat> rolling for a few up <clears throat> sorry a few other games on that system can I start showing you I'm going to talk about some of the games as well that I've I can what, see Mega here. Drive? 
Yeah, yeah. Like, see, we've got a lot of Mega Drive games behind us here. Um, just, just going off the top of my head, I could see Micro Machines, which was yeah. incredible. Micro Machines, me, me and Tell love this game. Like, absolutely <laughs> love this yeah. game. We spent how long at Res? Well, mm. no, Eurogamer playing this. Every time at Res or Eurogamer, they have the the retro section, and they've always got a Mega Drive hooked up to a an old TV, and it's they have oh, Micro Machines or Micro Machines Two running. It's it's just brilliant. It's incredible. Like I remember, Micro Micro Machines Two used to be at my local video store, right? And I've, I might have told you this before, but um, I used to rent because this was like in the old days where you'd actually go and when you rented a game, like you had all the Mega Drive games there, you'd go and you'd rent the game and then what, you'd have like a ticket yep. in the in the case and then you'd have to see all the signatures of all the people that had rented it. So then basically <laughs> like, yeah, and it'd just be my signature going all the way down. Like, why? And it's like, when you look back on it, you think, why don't I just go and buy that yeah, game? you could have... Like, I could have bought that game like 10 times over or more, like, but I'd just, just go, go rent the game for whatever it was, like how many times, I don't know if you had it for a week or a few days, whatever. But it's just rent that game. So I never owned it at the time, never ever owned it. Oh, I owned that. Just used to rent it, and it was incredible, absolutely incredible. But what else have we got? Um, it's a couple of games on there. I remember. I mean, one of the first games, the earliest games I remember playing with my brother. It's yeah, Castle of Illusion. It's just over my shoulder. Castle here. Illusion, yeah, classic game, very classic game. Yeah, Childish, I mean, I was a child at the time. So. One of the best platformers on on the on the uh, Mega Drive. But yeah, that 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 was one that. I mean, that micro machines. They're games I remember the most from the Mega Drive, particularly. Like Castle of Illusion, yeah, because it was so, you know, it was engaging. It was sort of you, you're playing through something. It was, it was brilliant. Time, like, it, I mean, it was brilliantly animated. Um, yeah, it, you know, for a Disney game, it was just it was. I think it had I think variety. The, yeah, as well, it had like a variety to the. I think it was the first game, the first licensed game that actually did something justice like that. You know, they took something like a an actual license, like a Disney like a cartoon or something, and made it really. It was actually really good game design. Yeah. Really fun to play. It looked beautiful. Yeah. Still looks, still nice looks brilliant today. now. Yeah, still it looks really, really does. Good. I've just been looking at the uh, back of the case just before we. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is something we will definitely play through on yeah. the Let's Play videos. Definitely, absolutely, we're gonna play it through. Uh, Jurassic Park, another game that um, you, you know, not particularly great game, but being a huge fan of the film Jurassic Park, I used to play that game a lot when I was younger. It's not a great game. It's really frustrating. Actually, it's really hard and it's not exactly well designed. But I used to play that a lot. That is a a big memory of my childhood playing that game on the Mega Drive. Um, Mortal Kombat 2 holds a special place in my heart because you're a massive Mortal Kombat fan I'm a big yeah. Mortal Kombat fan but it all started with Mortal Kombat 2 for me like that was the first um, Mortal Kombat game that I owned and it's also the first I think like I think it was a, a 15 I think uh, it was like the kind of first like big time. yeah the first game that I bought that was kind of like I shouldn't be owning this and it was like at the time it was really brutal full of blood that kind of thing um, but it wasn't just that I just loved the 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 story i love the look of the characters i love the tone and from then on i was just like lifelong mortal kombat fan like and it all started with mortal kombat 2 it was just still my favorite mortal kombat game i love that game